Hello, this is Jenna, and I would like to show you a quick tour of Monitor Backlinks and where to find all the main features. Once you have linked your Google Analytics account, you will be redirected to the Overview page. If you have just added your domain, it can take a few minutes to collect all your data. Monitor Backlinks crawls the web for new links to your website every day and sends you email alerts when a website links to you. Let me show you what an email alert looks like. This is the email that contains a list with all your new backlinks, along with their statuses. Monitor Backlinks checks for different types of link changes, like robots.txt blocked, no follow, meta, no index, and different types of redirects. You can click on View to check more details about each backlink. This is the page where you can see more details about your new backlink. This is your link status. In this case, we have a no follow, the page where it links from, where it links to. When it links to your homepage, it shows a slash. This is the anchor text used. The domain page rank, and when you hover your mouse, you can see the page rank, the Mo's rank and page authority, the number of social shares. This is the hosting IP and country. And here, you can see the number of external backlinks from that page. Now let's move on with our tour to your domain overview. On the left side, you can see your Alexa rank, page rank, and the number of indexed pages in Google. When these will go up, you will see the changes here. If your domain will be de-indexed or banned from Google, a warning message will be displayed here. Below, you can see a graphic with the organic traffic from search engines, average keyword position, and also your new backlinks. From the top right file, you can select the time interval you want to be displayed. You can choose to view each of these metrics one by one. For this, click on the module that you want to disable. For example, if I want to check only new backlinks, you can disable the average keyword position and also the organic traffic. And this is how you can see a graphic with all the new links to your website. Of course, you can also combine two metrics at the same time. Compare the average keyword position with the number of new backlinks. This is a great way to see what links have proven to have the most SEO value. In a glance, you can determine how earning new backlinks influences your average keyword's position and how this increases your search engine's traffic. If you want to check the backlinks on a specific day, click on the graphics and monitor backlinks will show you a list with all the links identified on that day. I will show you more about these backlinks in just a few. Now let's get back to the overview. Below the graphic, you can find the Keywords Activity module. This will show you the top-ranked keywords in Google, along with a quick history of changes. On the right, you can see the module showing your latest backlinks. Scroll down to find your competitors' backlinks. On the right, you can see your links status changes. Now let's move on to the backlinks page. Here you can find a list with all the links to your website. You can use multiple filters to analyze and sort your backlinks. From the right side, you can choose to view all your links, only the ones that Google considers, meaning those that have the do follow attribute, and the links that Google tends to ignore. These links are usually no follow, robots.txt blocked, and others. On the table, each column shows a different metric. The first one shows when the backlink was initially found. The second column shows the link status. The ones with the OK status are the ones that Google will recognize as links they should follow. Hold your mouse over and you can see when the link was last updated. The third column displays the pages that link to your website. On the next one, you can see where it is linking to. Either it's your home page or a sub page, you can find it here. You can find the anchor text used for your backlinks on the next column. On the sixth column, you will see the page and domain page rank. Here you can see the Mo's rank and page authority. Analyze the social signals for Facebook, Twitter, Google+, LinkedIn, and others. 
Next, you can see the IP address for the page that's linking to your website. If more than one backlink is sent from the same IP address, you will see the number of backlinks here. Hover your mouse and have a quick preview of these backlinks. You can easily determine if someone is pointing links to your website from a blog network if you have site-wide backlinks or multiple links from the same website. In this case, we have 88 links coming from blogspot.com. Click and get a detailed report with all the links coming from the same C-Class IP and hosting. You can analyze these backlinks and decide if you want to keep or remove them. Let's remove this filter. On the next column, you can find the number of external backlinks. This small icon will turn red if there are more than 100 links on the page that links to you. Next, you will find the tags for your links. On the last column, you will have the Settings button. Here you can edit, refresh, or delete a backlink. Let's check the Edit option. You can edit your link details or add multiple tags to identify these backlinks later. Add your tags, then tap Enter. If you have bought a link or a banner from a website, you select the date when it will expire and Monitor Backlinks will email you when this will happen. Now click Submit. To find the backlinks to which you have added tags, you will have to go to Filters and select your tag. Here's my link. This feature can be very useful if you have been penalized by the latest Google updates and you are trying to remove the links that are hurting your rankings. You can also sort your links by status, anchor text, and page rank. If you want to delete or export your backlinks, you can do this from this menu. Now let's move on to the competitors page. If you haven't added your competitors yet, you can add some by clicking Add Competitors. Monitor Backlinks sends you email alerts when your competitors will gain new backlinks. I will show you a quick preview of an email alert. Try to replicate their strategy and build the same backlinks. Let's get back to Monitor Backlinks. If you want to view all the latest backlinks of your competitors, you can click on View Links. Explore these backlinks and find new opportunities to build traffic to your website. If you want to remove a competitor, you can click this button. You can also review your entire domain from this page. Now let's check the Keywords Ranking page. Here you can see the average keywords position in Google for your chosen keywords. You can make a side-by-side -side comparison with your competitors and determine where you can improve your rankings. Add more keywords by clicking the button Add Keywords. If you want to remove your keywords, select the ones you want to delete and from the Bulk Actions menu, choose Delete. Let's move to the Anchor Text page. Monitor Backlinks will display the most frequently used anchor text for your links. After the latest updates Google has done, the anchor text distribution is an important ranking factor and you should always monitor your anchor text. Click on the link that shows the number of your backlinks to view all the backlinks using a specific anchor text. You can use this feature to recover or keep your website safe from Google Penguin. These are some of the most important features of Monitor Backlinks. Enjoy using our tool, and good luck outranking your competitors!